Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Apples and Tiaras vlog. Today's vlog is gonna be a little bit different. It's gonna be my Snapchat story. So I do have a Snapchat. I'm not planning on sharing it with everybody um, just because I usually keep like only my closest friends and family on Snapchat. But last week I did like this little Snapchat day in the life of a teacher thing and all my friends were like, um, this was really fun to watch. So I'm gonna do a little Snapchat thing today so all of my vlog will be kind of this like long like snapchat style vlog and I think I'm gonna be able to show you a lot more because I'm not editing anything so um, we'll see how today goes and keep on watching good morning everybody we're gonna do another day in the life of a teacher story today um, okay it was taken out I had a feeling that my trash wasn't taken out because all the other trashes on the outside of the building <laughs> weren't taken out. Um, so I was like, okay, if they didn't take my trash out, I'm gonna be mad. I have this huge trash can because I'm a science teacher and um, especially on days like today, when we do a lab, there's a lot of trash. So this guy will probably be full by the end of the day and that's fine. Um, we're doing a lab today that involves lava. So I came in early, it's like barely 7.05 to start preparing for the lab. And um, it's gonna involve me playing with flour and water, so. Also, I did not finish my breakfast at home. So I'm gonna finish that right now. Basically, I had two fried eggs and a handful of sweet potato fries. And then I'm gonna eat an apple as well. Ooh, Google Chrome is up to date. Yes, I would like to sign in, please. And then I just made myself an iced coffee with my iced coffee, um, Mr. Mr. Iced Coffee Maker. Love that guy. Second to my husband. Second. Okay, so the lab that I'm using is from Mystery Science. <laughs> He's talking in the background. Mystery Science is this really cool curriculum um, program that I love using. And the reason I like it so much is because for every lesson, there is a hands-on investigation, like lab sort of thing. And so today's lab is I am prepping two different types of lava. One is going to be thin, one is going to be thick, and the students are going to investigate which type of lava explodes and why it explodes from different types of volcanoes. So they will learn very quickly that the thin lava doesn't explode, it just kind of like runs everywhere and then thick lava is the kind that explodes and they do that by blowing air into the different types of flour and water mixture and the thicker lava ends up bubbling and exploding because there's more pressure buildup so anyway I do have to prep like 15 sets of lava sorry cut me off so I'm preparing 15 different cups of lava um, 30 30 cups of lava um, 15 cups will be thin lava, so it'll be like mostly water, some flour, and then the other type will be mostly flour, less water. So I'm hoping, I'm gonna cross my fingers that this lava will work across all three classes today, but I have a feeling it's not going to, especially the thick lava. I'm probably gonna have to either thin it out or remake it, so wish me luck. How's the best way to do this with Snapchat? I don't know. Okay, that'll work. <laughs> wow, this whole clip is gonna be me trying to open the flower. How entertaining. All right, let's do the thin runny lava first because So they're doing this with partners and I have 30 kids in each class. So I have to make at least 15 cups worth of each type. Okay, so the good news is that for the thin lava, I just need 15 cups of water and that water can be used throughout the whole day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put 15 cups out on these red trays and then I will 
fill them all, there goes my paper towels, fill them all with just a little bit of water, enough for the kids to be able to blow bubbles into it. I don't want the water like spilling out all over my tables, so I'm gonna fill it like very, very small amount. Fifteen, and now I have to fill 15 with the flour mixture now I don't use snapchat often so I don't know if I'm able to like add music to these clips I probably can but that reeks of effort so I'm not gonna do that it is handy to keep like a I use this watering spout for my like class plants but it does come in handy when it comes to prepping labs like this that require water. And just like that. We need one more row here and then we should be good. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I do have six of these trays and I do have six table groups. So what I will do is I will prep each tray for one table group, um, which is gonna be tough because I do have one class that has five kids sitting at each table. So I might have to put a couple of pairs here at my back table, but that's fine. So I'm just gonna prep all six trays and then whatever extras I have, I do have one more like brown tray that I'll put on the back table. So I just need to put out two of my flour mixture on each tray and then I can stack them on my lab cart and then they are ready for me to roll around and pass out. Of course now I can't find my scissors. So I'm gonna go locate those and then I'm gonna attempt to pour this lava into these cups without spilling any on myself wish me luck so here's my thought so i did last year it worked fine i'm gonna just take the corner and kind of cut the tip off and then gently pour the flour mixture by the way, I did add some red food coloring to this. So the flour mixture is now pink because I have to be extra and make the lava actually, you know, colorful. Ew, it's like chunky, gross. Now what I can do is come back with a spoon and just like stir these. Ew, it's so gross. It's like chunky, it looks like vomit. <laughs> Ew. Love teaching science. Love it so much. You know, this would be super nice to do if you had like a cake decorating bag. I mean, I pretty much just makeshifted my own cake decorating bag. Okay, so I do need to make one more small batch of the flour mixture, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Just get some water in there. I do need to go get more water. And flour. And I don't need that much because I only had like three cups that needed some, so. And then some red food dye. And I'm gonna have to go get more water, I just know it, so. I'm gonna add some more flour. You know, I think I'm gonna just make enough to refill in case like something happens and I need extra. I don't wanna spend my whole lesson period back here making lava. So I'm gonna go get some more water in this. I'll be right back. The cool thing about my schedule is that I have one block class and then they go to recess specials lunch so then I have specials and lunchtime to prep for the other two classes. So let's just say, for instance, that this flower doesn't make it through this first block and I need to remake it for the next block. I do have time to do that, thank goodness. Um, oof, needs way more water. Okay, um, so there's that and I can just pre-make like two big batches of the flour. The water is going to be fine. It'll last all day. My favorite thing though is going to be, I'm going to tell these kids, do not drink the water. <laughs> do not suck in the flour. Do not drink the flour. Do not eat the flour. Don't ingest anything. And guess what? They're still going to do it. 
Okay, we're getting somewhere. So now I'm just prepping all of the different trays and pray for me that these do not fall because that would suck really bad. I'm only gonna do three high. Okay, so here's a kind of sucky thing. I have bus duty in like five minutes. So I have to be done setting this whole thing up in five minutes, which I'm not going to be done in five minutes. I still have to put all the straws out. I still have to roll out the tablecloths and draw on them. So I have a feeling during like our warm up block this morning, I'm gonna be asking my homeroom class to help set up which is fine, that's typically what happens. Um, because, you know, as teachers, we don't just teach. <laughs> we have bus duty, and when our own children are here, we have to take our children down to preschool. Luckily, Cash is not with me this morning. Thank you, sweetheart, for taking him to school today because there's no way I would have gotten any of this done if my four-year-old four was here. It just would not have happened. So I'm very grateful that my sweet husband Okay, I was interrupted, but I was saying, thank you, Scott, so much for helping. Um, and the bell just rang, so I literally have five minutes to wrap up what I'm doing, get downstairs to bus duty, and then students are here. So this is the state of this project right now. The trays are there, um, but they're not fully loaded yet. So what I'm gonna do is just push this over here as gently as I possibly can without knocking anything over. And hopefully, because my students don't come over to this side of my desk, hopefully nobody will touch that. <laughs> Fingies crossed. And then I do have three extra cups of flour mixture made. And then I know I have a few extra cups of water already made. That is just in case I miscounted, which I probably did because I'm terrible at math, which is why I teach science and not math. And look, my breakfast is still not done. <laughs> I didn't even touch it since the last time I showed it to you guys. <sighs> I should have gotten here earlier than I did, but I got here at seven and I got up at 5.30. Um, usually Cash doesn't like wake up in the mornings when I leave early, but this morning he like rolled into my room at like 5.45, so Usually when I don't take him to school, Scott will get up with him, feed him, get him dressed. But because he was awake with me, I had to do all that before I could leave. So the life of a teacher mom. All right, I gotta get down to bus duty. It starts in like three minutes and then I can come up and I'll have at least like two or three minutes to spare before the kids get actually, oh shush, before the kids actually get up here. I'm just putting this on the screen behind me. Um, and then my, sorry, I was cut off again. And then, uh, so my colleagues, whoever has bus duty goes to the, um, mailboxes and then comes upstairs and opens the doors for everybody. So I'll have at least a handful of minutes before kids are actually in my room, which means I can do a little bit more, like turn on my lights and, you know, stuff like that. Go to the bathroom because I haven't done that yet either. <laughs> Try to blow. 
below just one bubble. Oh, you did it. You did it. Okay, what about in the water? One bubble, just one. Nope, too many. Try to do just one. just one in there, right? Ends up being more than one. Okay, so can you do it in the thin lava? No, why? Explain. When you try, what happens? In the water? Let's see it. Go. Just one bubble. down lasted a whole of five minutes because I went out to bus duty and immediately my hair was like sticking to my neck and it was so uncomfortable so anyways we survived the first group of labs and we literally finished the lab like minutes before our timer went off to leave so we didn't get a chance to like debrief or like discuss anything so we'll have to start with that first thing tomorrow and I'm crossing my fingers that the next group goes better because A, I won't have to do attendance or like lunch count or like finish setting up the lab. Everything's already done. So my next class should be good. I do have to refill some of the cups and I'll show you guys why. So a lot of them kind of look like this right now, which I wanna go through with a paper towel and just wipe them all down um, and then refill them so they're, they're nice and filled. And then, um, put like the spoons and the straws back out and then we're good to go for the next class. So, okay, so I actually decided to just open up like the side of the Ziploc bag to dump that out and it was nicer because then I could preserve what was left in here. Um, so I'm not doing the cut the corner thing for this next one, it just did not work. And then I do have my next batch of lava mixture made. I just need to dye it. And at this point, I don't even know that I will dye it. I think I'll just kind of throw it in there and say, oh, well. It's just an extra step that wasn't actually necessary. So probably not going to do that. But I do need to refill a couple of these water cups because they were spilled. <laughs> Okay, so I spilled the water literally as I was talking about them not spilling the water. <laughs> trays are ready to go and so I'll just kind of show you like what happened so um, when water would spill they would try to wipe it up which it did wipe up pretty good but then obviously the paper tears and like this one too like this one had a big water spill um, but the rest of them did pretty good this one was a lava spill and then I did have a couple groups back there with me this one was a big water spill but these guys weren't really following directions too well so that explains that one. Okay, so now that the lab is reset, I'm just gonna go sit at my computer and um, make my like lesson plan for tomorrow because we didn't finish today's mystery. So we are gonna have to finish it tomorrow, which just changes what goes on my agenda slide um, for my principal to see if she were to look. Okay, so I'm testing out filming a Snapchat 
facing this direction. I want to see if it saves to my phone facing this direction. We shall see. It is lunchtime, which means it's time for me to pretend like I'm going to eat and enjoy a break. I'm having an Asian sesame salad today with some chicken that I got from Trader Joe's that expires today. <laughs> Actually, I think it expired yesterday, but that's fine. I'm still going to eat it. So one of my kids had a birthday today and something that I like to do is take their um, like birthday cupcakes down to the cafeteria and they pass them out during their lunch so that I don't have to interrupt any of my instructional time passing out cupcakes. Now obviously if the cupcakes don't arrive until after lunch then of course I will pass them out during like our reach time which is like the end of the day when we have our own homeroom kids but if I can avoid passing out sugar in the classroom I definitely will <laughs> so I just got an email from our admin assistant about picture day and the schedule and this is the kind of thing like I'm not bagging on her at all like obviously she had no intentions of doing this but when I get an email like this because I have ADHD and I have to try to manage so many tasks and remember so many things throughout my day. When I get an email, I typically try to either A, respond, or B, write down whatever that email said so I don't forget. And so what I just did was I had to get up, I had to write picture day this Thursday and the time, but now the document won't load. So instead of standing up there waiting for it to load, I'm just gonna have to come back here and eat and then try to remember to look at it again later. Try. Alright, so I'm waiting for my teammates to bring all of the kids up. I wait upstairs because there's usually like a handful of kids that come up here with the lunch baskets and we don't want them up here alone so I typically wait upstairs for the rest of them which is nice because it gives me like five extra minutes to set things up if I need to. I love my teammates. All done? What are you picking? Code? Yeah. Love it. I told you guys it would be full. Okay, so it's the end of my day. Do you guys wanna see one of my favorite snacks? Pickled eggs. Hard boiled eggs in a jar of pickle juice. Let it sit for a few days. I always make them on Friday, and by Monday they're like so potent and delicious. Um, kids are gone, and my Roomba is going, because I do have quite a bit of dust on the floor. What I'm gonna do is prep everything for tomorrow so that I don't have to come in early. I can just walk through the door and start teaching. And that is the end of my day as a teacher.